So we're running offshore day two. It's a beautiful sunrise this morning. And I left Bud Mary's gorgeous day in there. And sunrise was nice. A lot of pink clouds in it. Running out here on the 42 and about halfway out to the swordfish grounds and just came across a Cuban raft. I'm gonna see if there's any, no people on it. I'm gonna see if there's any fish on it. Might be some mahi on it. You never know. Triple tail, wahoo. No telling. Oh, oh, nice mahi. Nice mahi on. Nice mahi on. Nice bowl. Oh, nice bowl. Nice bowl. Oh, look at that jump. Sick. Look at him going. He's getting it. It's getting tiny and drag like a quarter turn. There you go. That's good. There you go, get him. <laughs> mahi, mahi. Oh, mahi's, mahi's. We're going to school of them now, guys. Yeah, there it is, right there. And just like that, you guys, there's mahi here. Hopefully, the people are safe. Um, I'm sure the Coast Guard picked him up. That's what it looks like. But uh, we have got mahi on now. Yep. Ooh. Swing him over. Just like that, yep, right in the water. Perfect. And open up your bail and let some line out. Yeah. Yeah, walk to the bow with him. Yep. And try and keep up. Look at my sunglasses here, buddy. <laughs> keep your eye out for any other free swim that one's around. Jacks or Mahi? Mahi. I see a lot of little jacks down there. He's got a gap right here. Oh, oh, there's a nice Mahi right there. Nice gaffer. Nice, yeah, nice 15 pound right here. 15 pound right here, go off the bow. Here, guys, somebody clean you. Yeah, here, come over here with that one. Yeah, throw it right off the bow. Here's where I saw him. I see him. Just make sure you let him eat if he eats it. You get a jack. Get him. He finds you. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah, nice bull. Throw in front of him again. Nice bull. He might need a ballyhoo. Here. Here he's gonna eat you. I think he's gonna eat you. Let him eat it. Here. Nope. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. You got gotcha. you. You're good. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Can you feel it? It's a 15, 18 pounder. 20 pounder. He's 20 plus. He's 20 plus. Yeah. Nice job. Oh yeah. Look at that bull. He's 20 plus. You're, you're gonna have to walk back here. He's too close to the motor. Yep. Yep. Center. Oh yeah, nice bull. Yours is in gaff range? Yeah. Alright, here. Here. Give me a gaff and I'll get him. No. Where's this bigger one, bud? There he is. Let me know if yours comes close up there, buddy. Alright. Nice bull here, you guys. Nice bull. Two big bulls on. 25 pounder off the bow here. Yeah, he's a nice one. Old son, baby. A couple bulls on this raft. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well played, though. There's a raft here with like six dolphin on it. It's bigger than a jack, yeah, yeah, yeah. ain't it? Oh. Ah. Here, here's another mahi right here. So you need to get a bait yeah. on. There's another yeah. mahi right here, guys. Here, get this one, Lee. Get that one. Use your hand a little bit to palm the drag a little bit on there. Nice ball, nice ball. Perfect. Good job, guys. He's pulling, huh? Oh, yeah. He don't want to give up. Uh, nice ball there. He almost, gave, almost got him early. Then he woke up. Bigger than I thought, though, when he jumped. You can see a nice ball. And I... There you go. Oh, oh it's sun baby. Look at that ball. Hold that thing up for some pictures while he's fresh. Go back there with him real quick. Nice bull, you guys. Look at that thing. 
He's, he's over 25. Is he too frisky? Walk on live all? We'll get him in a minute. Yeah, live all's fine. He's angry. Dude, that's a nice bull. Yeah, that one won't mess oh, you go. Up. Yeah. <laughs> nice that job, guys. Nice work. <laughs> slammer. That's two slammer bulls there on uh, that Dude, raft there and a few schoolies, too. Who's got a. What do you got? <laughs> yeah, the jacks will do that sometimes. Yeah, it says marked there, so. Yeah, so it says okay, so the Coast Guard found them. Like we said before, it's marked, so the Coast Guard found them like okay and bright orange spray paint a lot of times, and you can see it right there. Got him on? Fish on? Wahoo on? I'm not sure what I got. Probably Wahoo. Wahoo, Wahoo, Wahoo on. Poochie! Hey, grab that one there, boss. When do you guys grab that one? There you go. Did he come off? Oh. Did he bite our hook off? He might have oh. bit our hook off. Paranized bulls to start the day, you guys. Beauties, good job. Awesome, we're good. I'm to the front or yeah, you can throw them in the front there, yeah. One more time, I'm gonna swim right in there and throw them right in that live well. Very good, yep, right in the boat, yep. Live all open, yep, perfect. Good job, guys. Oh, beautiful bellies right here, guys. Big ones for dinner, small ones for bait. Plus the top of the line's good. Straight up in it, up in it. Yep. Step back, round right, tip up. Perfect, good job. Hold them there, hold them there. Oh, some baby. We're re-rigging the swordfish rod. I think we had a blue marlin eat on the way down. Broke us up in the braid. I think it's ate the bait going down, swimming into the braid line. Fortunately, broke us off. We've had a tough day today, day two, but we got a lot of mahi this morning, which was good. Some nice bowls. I like keeping wrapped and lost another big mahi out here sword fishing, but just got some more schoolies now. So we definitely got mahi for dinner. We got plenty of mahi bellies for bait. Swords beat us up today so far, but we got our last trip here. A little bit of luck, we'll get one. But uh, the, the, day, the way the day's gone, I don't think we had any luck for the swordfish today. We lost them. My uncle got a nice one catching one too, and we're getting some mahis on now. Oh, some baby. Come out of that one. That's the rod we just broke off. If you go swordfish, you better bring extra rods or rigs. Oh, he's eating you. Oh, got him on. Boom, drilled him. A couple more out there too. Two or three more out there. That one there is borderline. Oh, oh boy, he went all around that thing. There you go. Watch that sword rod line. That would be about little pack of late season mahis there. We got uh, mahi tacos and we're gonna have some fresh mahi bellies for swordfish bait. One of my favorites. Oh, look at the flying fish you popped up, huh? Part of a flyer. Gross. There's his tail. It was 28 on the bogus. That means we can call it 30, right? Oh, definitely. It's a bean 40. Yeah, nice one. Oh, yeah. They Thank called boy. it 15 pounds when he saw it. Oh, yeah. Healthy. And plenty of schoolies, too. Oh, they keep coming out. Yeah. We got another Reed nice tucked too, some so. way up in there. Oh, yeah. There'll be a separate swordfish video because we got a nice swordfish today, right at the end of the day. And uh, had a good ride home at 45 miles an hour. 45 knots, I usually go by knots. But uh, cleaning up the mess and time to fillet that fish. Big Mai, you guys, off Alamorada. Time to fillet him. It's getting dark. We're losing our daylight. Hopefully, I don't slip and cut myself. Oh, them big bulls, there we go, all the way up to the head. You got a lot of head meat on them. Oh, there we go, even better. Now we got some extra light coming in. It was a long day fishing, but it was well worth it. 
cleaned up. Got that nice swordfish right at the end of the day. This is one of the biggest bulls we got all year. So that was a welcome surprise. And plenty of schoolies too. The schoolies will be good eating. Plus make great swordfish baits. Look at this big old rib cage kind of go over that. Nice big old fillet on that bull there. We'll do this one in pieces because it's long, so it can be hard to cut the, the whole string of fillets there. So we'll just do that like that in pieces. Just tell that we're gonna take out his guts here because we don't really need those in there. So we'll cut them at an angle. Get rid of that stuff. Feed the sharks and tarpon. We're just doing sections when we're scanning them. That, that's a fillet of mahi there, though, you guys. We cut the skin off there. I like to do that better than. Pull it, both work, but I like that better. Okay, We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but you can see that's only a third of filet, you know. That's a nice filet of mahi, so. We'll see you guys back in the kitchen cooking it up. Nice bull here and uh, plenty of mahi for everybody to have a few dinners. Welcome back to the grill, you guys. We've got some fresh mahi here. But we're gonna try cooking it on a cedar plank. Now I've only started using the cedar plank recently and Charlie was here both times, he kind of introduced me to it. You know, we just want a little extra flavor, just mixing it up a little bit. So we're gonna put it on the grill here, just gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Then we got some new rub here from Traeger, the old whiskey dusk. And we put that on some food the other night and it was delicious, so I wanna try that on there. And then after the mahi's been on the grill for a few minutes, you know, right before we take it up, I got some special honey here. And this just ain't any honey. This is Sailor Rain and Big Papa's honey. So Buck, thank you for dropping this off. This is the bust honey around. Let's get uh, let's get seasoning on the fish here, get on the grill. And that was a pretty wild uh, day, you know, seeing that raft in the morning there, pair of big bulls on it, another gaffer sized mahi, a few schoolie sized fish. And then later that afternoon, we caught a bunch more schoolies. And we also caught a big swordfish that afternoon, which is a separate video that was during our swordfish camp. It was really cool, fought them late in the day. We lost a couple of ones early in the day and stayed late and got one. But uh, there'll be a whole separate video just for that swordfish camp. So you guys stay tuned for that one. But let's get this mahi cooking right now and get it on the grill. Just gonna rub it down here with a little bit of olive oil on both sides. Not sure if it's necessary. And if you guys know a better way here, feel free to tell me because I'm not familiar with the cedar plank. We've done it a couple times. We did some salmon on it. Everybody absolutely loved it. And uh, we did some swordfish on it actually, which turned out really good too. But it's time for mahi. So we're gonna rub this on here like that. This is pretty thick fish here. This was a bigger fish there. That fish was almost 30 pounds. So I know it's going to take a minute or two to cook. It ain't going to cook real fast. So but I would say that's pretty good right there. And when it nears completion, we'll put the honey on it right at the end. And now the finishing touch. You can see that mine's looking really good. we got to get a little bit of honey on there. Looks like enough to me. One more minute, then we'll be eating that for dinner, guys. All righty, that ought to be good. Now, I really didn't think about this because I don't have anything to put this on. Ooh, that's hot. Let's get it off the grill there, though. We'll get it right here for now. I'm gonna go get something to put this on. I got the trusty orange tray. There we go. I wish you guys could smell this. This smells really good, and I think it's gonna taste really good. The kids are already eating some fish and dinner in here, but. I want to do the mahi. They're eating some uh, rosy and some stuff like that they had. You want more fish? Come and smash the like button. Smash the like button. Who's is better, the rosy or Nick's mahi? We're gonna find out? That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> That's look pretty good, right? The presentation. <laughs> Everybody agreed that it smelled good. Another question is whether or not it tastes good. How's your fish, good? Ours is really good. Oh, this is good. So that was honey there from Uncle Buck. I appreciate that. And Sailor, thank you. This mahi going down here. That's a big mahi too. Biggest one we caught in a long time. Maybe all summer, honestly. Well, it's actually fall now, but I don't know if we caught a bigger one that earlier this year or not. Absolutely delicious. Probably better than the fish that they fried in the pan. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait till you try this one. I'll decide. That's some of the best fish I think I've grilled on the grill. We got the honey, we got the seasoning, it's moist. 
good. It's good, huh? What do you think, Madison? It is good. It's sweet. It's that whiskey dust. It is right? sweet, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So that was that whiskey dust um, rub on there. That's the new one from Traeger. And I know I say most of the food tastes good. It doesn't always taste great. Sometimes I overcook stuff, but that is honestly really good. <laughs> good job, Nick. You're getting better. You said perfect. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sadie, you want to try a piece of mahi? It's got honey on it. Yeah. Oh, Madison's going back for seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all can see the aquarium too. Just ignore that. It's yeah, the aquarium hasn't turned out as good as we were hoping. It's going to. It's, it's going to. I said I was going to really get into it and be an aquarist, and I didn't do that the last couple months. It'll be back, though. All right, Sadie, this is fresh Mahi Mahi. How about one bite for you, one bite for Claire, okay? Let me know what you think. Oh, you want a bite, too? One bite for Claire. Let's see what the girls think. Is it good? Is it yummy? Do you like it? What do you like better, daddy's fish or mommy's fish? Daddy's. Daddy's, yay. How about you, Claire? Which one do you like better? When are you gonna start speaking? I think she's like swordfish. You think she likes swordfish? Alrighty. All right, kids watching this video, eat more fish. The kids are ready for more fish and dinner, it sounds like. What are you saying there, Claire? You do? Sadie wants couscous, so come on down to Mud Mary's, check it out. Um, if I can't take you out there, Cat Mike, well, the broad minded, go sword fishing. Claire just hit her knee, she's crying. You're okay. You're okay, come here. Oh, you're okay. All right, you guys, it's time to wrap it up. Sadie, are you eating my fish? Yeah, you are. So, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Come on down to Amra and check it out. I was supposed to be eating my dinner, and this is what happened. Lots of couscous. How about a bite of my eat? Ooh. Do you like daddy's fish better or mommy's fish? Daddy's. <laughs> Rude. They're daddy's girls. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. Hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. And uh, if you want any merch or any fishing rods, head to the website, stansfishing.com. And uh, if it's still October, use code October20 to save 20%. And hopefully we get to see some of you guys at the boat show. We'll see y'all next time. Claire, say smash it. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Who's it Googan? Bye.